What's up guys, welcome to the first video here in my new place. I'm glad to be able to make videos again. I know I haven't made videos in a really, really long time, but today I had to make something because there's a whole bunch of things to talk about, but I'm mainly just going to be talking about the Fantastic Four reveal. Um, so, you know, you guys know that Pedro Pascal is now Mr. Fantastic and, um, you know, Vanessa Kirby, as we all expected, is Invisible Woman. Uh, Eben Ross, or I forgot what his name was, Ever, he, he's from The Bear, basically, um, was able to, uh, to uh, find out that he is now playing um, the thing. And um, last but not least... Oh, man. Uh, Eddie himself from Stranger Things. Um, forgot what his name was. What? How could I forget what his name was? But he's playing the Human Torch, basically. So let's see here. Um, what was his name again? Eddie Munson. Actor. I'm going to remember, like, right as soon as we... Okay. Joseph Quinn. Okay. So, um, yeah. He's, he's going to be playing... Uh, Human Torch, which is awesome, um, you know, I, I know a lot of people were kind of fan casting Dacre Montgomery as a uh, Human Torch, but I think he's, Dacre Montgomery is like a really good actor, but he's more of like a hard, hard type, um, I don't know, maybe he could play another character in the, the MCU, who knows, um, yeah, so th I think that's, if I'm not mistaken, that's the first time anybody from Stranger Things has actually joined the MCU. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, because Millie Bobby Brown was supposed... I think she was supposed to play Sprite at one point. She was in talks to um, play uh, a character in the Eternals. But, um, you know, that I guess that didn't pan out because somebody else ended up playing Sprite. And Yeah, but... Overall, I'm excited for the news, and if you guys look at the suits, I don't know if that's the official suit, but it's, you know, it's by Matt, Sh Matt Shackman. Uh, he's the director of the, you know, the Fantastic Four in the MCU, and you could definitely see that we, she was also the one who made WandaVision, and you could see that they're kind of, you know, you kind of tell why um, he was hired for the job, because that's the aesthetic that they're going for. I think they're going for, like, a 60s type vibe maybe that's when it takes place too um because there's like been fan theories going around that it takes place in the 60s um but yeah uh, it's been a long day at work today um it didn't rain though but it's supposed to rain this monday good thing i have no i'm off that day so anyways yeah i just filmed a couple of uh you know uh, reels, I guess. I think I'm going to be uploading one today. Uh, it's a Peter Parker monologue thing from Civil War. Um, yeah, so Marvel, if you want to hire me, you got to wait in line. I'm just kidding. All right, bye.